Right, hi guys. So today we're doing a handbrake adjustment on the Rome 10. Um, I've noticed basically that the handbrake's not doing a great deal inside the car. So I thought myself, yeah, we're going to adjust it up. I, I like to have a really good handbrake on my car, make sure that if you need to use it, because say the um, the brake system's failed for any reason, you've got it to use it to see if it's going to save your life. Um, on this car, um, the braking force has to be 25% of the car's overall weight. So if it's 800 kilo car, then let's do the maths. It's got to be 200 kilos of braking force just from the handbrake if you if that was what you were to have to use. So therefore, it's quite important in this car's case that the handbrake is adjusted properly. Now to do this, we've got a bolt that goes through where my finger is here. Normally where the mole grips are should be a 30 or 40 mil um, bit where you put a spanner on but classically because you've got a steel bolt going through an alley, aluminium casting the two like to rust together quite nicely and if you ever get them to spin easily you're very lucky or should I say you've probably greased it because <laughs> you had the problem. So basically you turn it inwards to reduce the free play and increase the effect effectiveness on the, on the pad or you wind it outwards to reduce the effectiveness on the pad and increase the free play. So basically, you just obviously spit lever this up and down to do that. And basically, what I do, and this is probably how you're supposed to do it, funny enough, um, you lift it off the car, lift the wheel off the ground so that you can spin the wheel on its own. Now, obviously, in this case, it's rear wheel drive, so you're going to have a little bit of. Um, you have a little bit of weight from all the obviously difference in the gearbox but you can generally feel when you've got free play and when you haven't so um, basically what I've done is lifted it off the floor take the handbrake off completely so this lever is currently free to push and push and pull however, however, however you want to um, and you turn this rod in which as I say pushes that against the pad and as soon as you feel the free play disappear you can you can feel the wheel start to drag very fractionally. At that point, you back it off just a smidge, so that then the wheel spins nicely. And that there is just right, as far as I'm concerned. So I'm now going to go to the other side, and then hopefully after this, we'll be able to have it up on, have it in the air. You won't be able to move the wheels. And the ultimate test, to me at least, is um, you see how much you can lift the clutch up with it running in first gear before it just just before it tries to try and move so yeah if it doesn't move and it stalls obviously you've got a very good handbrake so let's have a look okay so i've just done the driver's side now um i actually had to take two or three attempts at doing this side because it was a right pig basically as i said earlier this bit here rounds off so i've had a pair of mold grips on here hence the thread there is absolutely annihilated um I managed to get to the point where I could, I got the mold was on there enough to turn it. Um, but sadly, it basically ended up as a case of it needed something to lubricate it because obviously it's dry as a bone. So I ended up taking the wheel and the caliper off to make sure no WD-40 went anywhere near the brake pads or the disc itself. Um, that enabled me to spray a bit of WD-40 on the thread, both this side and that side. And then I put it all back on with the excess WD-40 taken away by a bit of brake cleaner. And then fitted it all as, as you can see now. Meaning that the caliper was therefore secured without having to take it off and put it in a vice. So yeah, I've got this to move enough that um, the wheel is working nice on the handbrake. But not so tight that um, the wheel doesn't freely spin as it's supposed to. So yeah. Impressed with today, the handbrake is now working much better than it was. So, um, yeah, good job. 